We start the preparations for the roof by marking out any hazards or pre-existing issues and outlining our safe work zones. Once we've done this, we start marking out on the roof where we've decided to lay the panels, based on our electrical engineer's design. The initial markings are to guide where we're going to put the solar panel mounting system. Once this has been completed, we move on to placing the mounting feet for the mounting system along the existing roof screw lines. These feet have a specially designed bolt and lug that interfaces with the rail system. These feet also act as a guide for the location of the rail system. The number of feet used in an installation is designated by the manufacturer depending on a variety of factors, including the wind region, roof pitch, height of building and terrain surroundings. Once we've placed the feet onto the roof, we then fix the feet to the roof battens with specially designed screws that replace the existing roofing screws. As you can see, we also use a UV stabilised black rubber pad between the roof sheet and the mounting feet to act as a washer between the two different types of metal to avoid electrolysis. Now the mounting feet have all been fixed into position on the roof, we prepare the rails for installation. This strengthened aluminium rail will then act as a base for the solar panels to be mounted on. Once the 4.2 metre lengths of rail are placed into position, the standard splices, otherwise known as joiner bars, are then used to join the lengths of rail together to create a longer mounting rail. The rail is positioned flush to the mounting feet and the specially designed lug from the tin mounting foot is slotted into the channel inside the rail and the bolt is then fastened to provide an extremely secure fixing. The same procedure is then repeated on the opposite side of the roof until all the mounting rails are fixed in position ready for the panels to be installed. Before mounting any panels, the DC and earthing cables need to be prepared to transport the solar generation from the roof down to the inverters near the main power distribution board. In order to safely and neatly run this high voltage DC cable, we install a hot dipped galvanised steel cable tray that is securely fastened to the roof. Any electrical cable that is exposed directly to the sun will be protected by a UV stabilised protective conduit that's fastened to the cable tray. After finalising the earth and DC cable run, we move to installing the DC isolators. We start this process by preparing the internals of the isolator for the cable to be connected to. Once the isolators are prepared, they're installed onto the end of the rail system in the walkway for ease of maintenance and diagnostics. Once finished, we install a UV rated metal hood to protect the isolators from the heat and UV of the harsh Australian sun. The 250 watt phone of solar panels are connected in a group of 20 modules which are fed through one of the DC isolators installed on the roof before running down to a string fuse box. From here they're fed through another isolator and eventually into the inverters where the DC solar generation is transformed into usable AC electricity. The isolators installed at ground level are for safety and so we're able to diagnose any faults in the system by simply isolating each string of panels with ease. Now that the wiring is prepared for the solar panels, we start to install the panels onto the railing system. The panels are carefully laid and positioned along the rail so they can be fixed into place securely and neatly with the railing mid and end clamps. As each panel is placed onto the rail system, the cables from the junction box at the back of the panels are connected in series with the next panel in that row. This is what creates the string of panels. By ensuring the first two rows are neat and tidy, we can then use them as a guide for the remainder of the panels in that array. By doing this and regular checks, we can ensure that we maintain a strong, even fixing. As you can see here, all of the panels are now installed in the east-west configuration to suit the customer's energy usage pattern, with the isolators mounted at the top of the panel rows for easy and safe access. This greatly reduces diagnostic times in the event of any issues and also improves the overall safety of the system. We now move downstairs to the dedicated inverter location where we carefully place the ABB three-phase inverters onto their wall mount brackets. This process is done outside of business hours to ensure that minimal disruption is caused to the business. After mounting the last inverter, we move on to installing the cable tray to provide a secure and safe channel for the DC cables, carrying the solar energy from the roof to the inverters. We also install a cable tray around the walkway to carry the AC energy that the inverters have created from the DC solar supply into the main distribution board. 
From here, it's simply a case of final safety inspection before commissioning the system.